Hello everyone and welcome back to the Celebrity Ring. In today's brand new video, we'll be talking about how Bobby Shmurda is getting released from prison soon. For those who need some brief info, Bobby Shmurda, also known as Akil Pollard, is an American rapper, songwriter, and felon. He signed a deal with Epic Records after his song Hot peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2014. His debut EP, Shmurda She Wrote, was released on November 10th, 2014. Bobby Shmurda was arrested on gang conspiracy and gun and drug charges in 2014, and in 2015, he was caught trying to smuggle a sharp metal object into Rikers Island while in custody awaiting trial. Charged with gang conspiracy in addition to the gun and drug charges, Bobby ultimately pleaded guilty to fourth degree conspiracy and second degree criminal weapon possession and was sentenced to seven years in prison. He would later be sentenced to four years in prison for promoting prison contraband, serving concurrent to his original sentence. Pollard, who is not granted bail, has been in custody since his initial arrest in 2014. However, Bobby Shmurda could get out of prison as early as February 23rd. A spokesperson for the New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision confirmed to Vulture Monday. In September, Pollard's parole was denied and he was, quote, given a hold until the maximum expiration of his sentence on December 11th, 2021, department officials said at the time. When asked this afternoon about reports of Pollard's early release, the spokesperson said that he had previously become ineligible for conditional release following disciplinary issues. Because of these issues, Pollard lost to time allowances referred to as quote, good time, that can lead to early release. Now he might be able to get an early release due to a committee reviewing the situation and recently restored Pollard's good time, making him newly eligible for a conditional release. If Pollard does wind up leaving lockup next month, he would serve the rest of his term under community supervision. Since his December 2014 arrest on numerous conspiracy and firearm charges, Pollard has been behind bars for about six years, about two in New York City prison and four in state prison. News of the potential early release of Pollard comes less than a month after the release of his associate, Rowdy Rebel, from state prison. Together with Pollard and Nicholas Flea Montana McCoy, the fellow Brooklyn rapper whose real name is Chad Marshall, pleaded guilty in September 2016 to fourth degree conspiracy and second degree unlawful possession of a firearm. Now you guys might be comparing his release to Takashi 69s as well. Well, the rapper Takashi 69 was released from federal prison early Thursday afternoon to serve the final months of his sentence in home confinement. Over fears the rapper's health would be severely affected if he were to contract coronavirus. The decision to release 6ix9ine to home confinement comes as New York is battling the spread of the corona, including in prisons and jails. 6ix9ine was convicted in November 2018 for his involvement in the Nine Trey Bloods gang and on charges of racketeering, drug trafficking, and firearm offenses. The Brooklyn rapper, who found success through the so-called SoundCloud rap explosion and became well known for his outlandish persona. He worked with federal officials in their investigation of his gang in exchange for reduced prison time. Figures published by the Legal Aid Society on Tuesday indicated that there were at least 180 cases of coronavirus in the New York City jails. Harvey Weinstein reportedly tested positive for the virus last week. This could also be a reason why Bobby Shmurda might get released soon. However, 6 ix lawyer said his client faced higher risk from the coronavirus because of his severe asthma. Other convicted celebrities in confinement including R. Kelly and Bill Cosby are making similar arguments to push for early release. Therefore, even if court documents reveal that Shmurda was denied parole due to multiple violations while incarcerated, including alleged drug possession, fighting, and allegedly being in possession of a shank, since a committee reviewed the situation and recently restored Pollard's good time, which made him newly eligible for conditional release, and especially how there are rising cases of coronavirus in prison, which means that Pollard might get released from prison really soon, similar to Takashi 69 Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, do you think Bobby should be released? Let us know down in the comments below and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.